there's so much drama going on right now. Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome b -b -b back to my channel. This palette is so pretty and this palette is so pretty and Just opening the palette, I'm honestly shook because there's no like bubble wrap. Hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Hey everybody, Carrie here, nosy house frau. So I was just gorging myself on turkey, I mean, having a light lunch, and I was watching a Dustin Daily video because as you know, drama waits for no woman. And I noticed he had someone in there named Cole's World. There were a couple of quality control issues with Alien. When you're making a gajillion pallets, I suppose, from time to time, there's gonna be a dud that passes through and you have to contact the manufacturer. But in this case, I have to correct something. Cole seems very nice. But he mentioned as he opened up his alien palette that he was lamenting there was no bubble wrap. Hmm? Let's take a look at the original packaging because I'm old, so I saved mine. <laughs> and I feel in the interest of fairness, I should show you. Let's see if I can line this up. This is the box. Oops. As it came, I'm sure if that looks right. Yeah, and as you can see, when you open it up, there's this quality two-ply signature Jeffree Star wrapping paper. And then there is bubble wrap. Tinted pink, impressive. And then there's the alien palette. Underneath it, more bubble wrap and more two-ply wrapping paper. So although the palette is not directly wrapped in bubble wrap, this is quality packaging. And I felt that that should be cleared up to set the record straight. Have a nice day. Damn! It is a very nice leather, faux leather. <laughs> that is not correct. Assuming, I love that alien font. That is really, really, really cute. I love the pink. On the back, I'm living. Question for you. What are those? <laughs> but wait, there's more. Which is really pretty. And then we go in with, let's just go in with UFO. And then we'll go in with Abduction. And then let's go in with X-Files. So this is what the colors look like on my fingers. You guys can kind of see it's getting a little patchy right here. This color is being a little bit inconsistent. You guys can kind of see it's just being really weird right here where my crease is. Can you guys kind of see right there? Okay guys, I am having a little bit of trouble sandwiching these colors together. Like, this shade isn't really working out that well in this one. I have personally found that packing on the pressed pigments with a flat brush works the absolute best to get maximum color payoff and to make sure all the shadows stay in place. And as well, I always use Shape Tape or my concealer as an eyelid primer before doing any eyeshadow. For the pressed pigments, I would actually not recommend this. Now this may come as a little bit of a shock to you guys, but if you've been subscribed to me for a very, very long time, you would know that I am definitely a firm believer in the makeup conspiracy that primer is a scam. Now, I low-key still do stand behind that to this day, but when it comes to these pressed pigments, I swear to God, you guys, myself and the Morphe team have found out over the past several months that using these pressed pigments on an actual product that is formulated for the eyelids is going to make the shades perform so beautifully and it's going to give you the best results possible.
so pretty and I would like to pay my respects. Laura Lee was a good woman, but she was a liar!